You can call me Link. It's not my name, but it's what I say when anybody asks, which isn't often. I'm invisible, see? One of the invisible people. Right now, I'm sitting in a doorway watching the passers-by. They avoid looking at me. They're afraid I want something they've got. And they're right. Also, they don't want to think about me. They don't like reminding I exist. Me. And those like me, we're living proof that everything's not all right. And we make the place untidy. I didn't come to London straight away. I may be homeless and unemployed, but I'm not stupid. I'd read about London. I knew the streets down here weren't paved with gold. I knew there were hundreds of people, thousands in fact, sleeping rough and begging for coppers. But that's just the point, see? In Bradford, I stuck out like a sore thumb because there weren't many of them. The police down here have got used to seeing kids kipping in doorways. And mostly, they leave you alone. In Bradford, I was getting moved on every hour or so. I was getting no sleep at all, and practically no money. The people up there haven't got used to beggars yet. They're embarrassed. They'll make large detours to avoid passing posters. And if someone does come with an earshot and you ask for change, they look startled and hurry on by. Also, I kept seeing people I knew. Neighbours, guys I've been at school. I even saw one of my teachers once. And if you've never been caught begging by someone who knew you before, possibly know how low it makes you feel. Sad is what it is. Sad and scary. You're leaving a place you know and heading into the unknown with nothing to protect you. Shelter. Four. I say to the bathroom mirror, smiling. Zero G, Good morning, Shelter. You're a handsome devil, but you're idle, lad. You need a shave. I've been writing it too, on the backs of envelopes. Shelter, shelter, shelter. It's starting to look like an authentic signature already. I realize, of course, that all this has precious little to do with recruiting, and perhaps you think I'm stalling, putting it off. I'm merely indulging myself. After all, there's plenty of time. The street people aren't going to go away. And anticipation is the best part of a treat, as my old granny never used to say. So, it's a case of wait for it, you horrible little man. I've been out tonight. I took the two down the Charing Cross and walked so proud of it. Door of inspection, you might say. And I found them, as I've known I would. Hundreds of the scruffy blighters lying around making that place look manky. I marched along the strand, and there they were. Dossing in all the doorways, even Lloyd's Bank and the law courts. One cheeky little bugger. Couldn't have been more than 70. And you asked me for money. Have you got any change? Says I looked him up and down and I said, Change? I'd change you, my lad, if I had you in khaki for six weeks. 